Hi friends, it's me, Mrs. Cassins, your favorite weird art teacher. And today we're going to be making anaglyphs. Can you say anaglyph? Pretty good. All right, so an anaglyph is those things that you see where you put on those cool 3D movie glasses. And we're gonna make one today using two colors, red and blue. Ready to make it with me? Let's go. All right, my friends, in the classroom you will find this guide. If you get stuck, you can also rewatch this video anytime on the iPad. First things first, we've got our template right here. We're doing a scene like this, but you might have a different image at your desk. We need white paper, red marker, blue marker, our red copy paper, our blue copy paper, some tape, and our 3D glasses. First things first is write your name and teacher's name on the back of your blank paper. Flip it over. Super important. You're gonna tear a little bit of tape. This is how you tear it. You don't need scissors and you're going to tape your paper to your table. This is so important. If, you, if your paper moves, it won't work. First, we're gonna do red. You wanna make sure the really bright red side goes face down, and we're gonna tape that right on top of our white paper. Super. Now I'm going to make sure that the corners of my paper line up. So you kinda of wanna get those in there good. And then you're gonna tape your copy paper on top. I'm using a pen and I'm pressing down kind of hard and I'm tracing over the black lines. If you carefully lift up the corners of your paper, you can see what's happening. Ooh, it's making a red imprint. So whatever you trace, hey hair, get out of there. Whatever you trace is going to show up as a red line. And if you make a mistake, don't worry, it's just like pencil and you can erase your red lines and your blue lines. You're gonna trace over all your lines. Do, 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 do. I am so fast. Now for the reveal. You're gonna carefully take off your bridge or whatever the image is that you're using, a fish, a cat, and then we're gonna peel off the red part, leave your paper on your table. Whoa, that is so cool. Now we're gonna do the same thing but with our blue paper. So you're gonna put your bright blue side face down, and this part's a little tricky and I'm gonna help you with this. You wanna make sure that your blue is just a little bit offset, so it means we're not putting it right on top of our other paper, we want to put it kind of like a little bit up. So I say like an eighth of an inch. So you move it an eighth of an inch up and over. So it takes a little bit of time to adjust it and then you tape it back down. Super. Guess what? We're going to do it all again. So now you're going to trace over everything, all your lines. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But this time we're going to be using blue. In my image, I have my red one because um, I didn't want to film it again. Sorry guys. All right, here's the reveal. So you're gonna carefully peel off your tracing part, your tracing page, and now you have your blue side. Super awesome, it looks so good. Okay, here's the easy part. We're just gonna trace our red lines with our red marker. Don't worry, you don't have to be a superhero and do it as fast as me. My hair is really liking to get in this picture. Next up, we're gonna do the same thing, but with our blue marker, and it's gonna give you something that looks a little bit like this. So you see how the blue and the red aren't right next to each other, just a little bit off? Now you get to wear your cool glasses, hold your paper a little bit far distance away, and then you'll be able to see it, and it looks so cool. Are you ready? Let's go.